have been messaging me about what you should do with your classes. COVID's going on, campuses are closed, classes are online, so universities are making, giving you the option, I should say, to take your classes past final semesters, and you're wondering, will medical schools accept these classes? Let's talk about it. But stop making excuses, stop whining, stop, right? Get at it. No excuses, just dominate. All right, guys, Dr. Pinesett here. And as always, I'm answering your guys' questions. And a lot of you guys have been messaging me, asking me, should you take your classes pass fail if given the option right now? And there's a couple different varietals of what's happening. Some schools are forcing students to take classes pass fail. Some students are offering to do a half and half split so you can choose which classes you're taking pass fail. And then other schools are saying, no, you must pick one, pass fail or four grade. And so for you guys as pre-meds, the big concern is, is will medical schools accept that pass fail coursework? What will it do to your opportunities as a pre-med to get into medical school? What's up, Harpree? What's up, Adria? What's up, Track Boy? Xavier, RM, okay. So what does it mean for your candidacy taking classes pass fail? And I'm gonna make this very simple so we're not stuck here all day waiting for an answer, but quite simply, when, it, when you can avoid it, you should never take a class pass fail. Given the situation that's going on right now, medical schools may be lenient, may say, okay, if you took pass fail during this window, we're gonna say it's okay, but I never like leaving these up to chance and I like going with the sure thing. So the simple way that I would look at your classes right now is first level is, can I get the A? So if you're in a position where you're doing well in your classes and the A is within reach, I would say keep your classes for a grade because that A is a lot more valuable in bumping that GPA than a pass fail would be, right? It doesn't affect your GPA. So if you can get the A, go get that A. If your grade's in jeopardy, if you're in like the C range and you're like, man, if I, if I do really well in the final, I can get an A, go ahead and take it pass fail. And when you do that, do it under the assumption of I may have to retake this class and plan for it accordingly. And so say, don't think that, oh, it's over be aware that you may have to make it up. So the first category is, am I gonna get an A or am I not gonna get an A? If you're not gonna get an A, then just take it pass fail because you know a C doesn't do you, any, do, do you any good. So A or not, you decide, right? If you get an A, you take it for a grade. If you can't, do it pass fail. The second way to think about it is in terms of prerequisite, like required coursework uh, for AMCAS and for going to medical school versus non-prerequisite courses. If you have the option, I would take your prerequisites for a grade if, again, you can do what the first criteria fits, if you can get the A. Because I doubt that medical schools are going to accept pass-fail for prerequisites. They may. I don't think it's really going to happen. So I would rather go ahead and knock that prerequisite out, get it quick counted, get a good grade, and then move on. If it's a non-prerequisite, then go ahead and take it pass-fail. So that way, if your prerequisite grade is in jeopardy, you can go ahead and take that grade and amplify it up, put all of your attention there to maximize your grade there and improve right your requirements for medical school. Does that make sense? Like real simple, nothing super crazy, but I think people are confused on what they should do. And if you can take, if you can get an A, go get that A. If you can't, take it pass fail. If it's a prerequisite, try to take it for a grade if you can get the A. If not, then go ahead and take it pass fail, but understand you're more than likely gonna have to retake it at a later date. There's economic costs to that, energy costs to that, time costs to that, a whole lot of costs. So you have to decide what you want to do uh, with that. Everybody, is that clear? Is that easy? <laughs> uh, yeah, so Nimi says that A and O cam seems out of reach at this point. For some of you guys, it is, right? And that brings me to my next point. For you guys who continue to struggle in your classes, will you please recognize, like I know you you want to go on forums, look at validation of how your 2.0 GPA is going to be okay when you're getting to medical school, but it's not. You've got to get better. You've got to get those A's. It really makes a difference. And if you're saying to yourself that you aren't capable of getting the A's, you're lying to yourself. You absolutely can, but you have to learn how to study. And I think people label themselves as smart or dumb or capable or incapable based on their past experiences. But the reality is, is we are all the sum of our experiences and our training. And for you guys who are not considered smart students or have not been getting the A's, it's because you're not trained to do so. And so if you want to get trained right now, I'm having a limited time flash sale. I'm excited because I'm not getting the A. One of my students just set the curve on her bio final, finished 40 questions in 13 minutes, was the first one out of the test, 
rocked it. And so I was excited by her success to help you guys get more success. So I'm running a flash sale right now, limited time only, on my total student transformation. This is my five pillars of studying less to get a better grade system, the exact system I used in college, graduate school, and also in medical school. And you get bi-weekly coaching from me, and you get my MCAT course, and you get a bunch of bonus courses. So it's an awesome opportunity, and right now it's 50% off, and it's an opportunity to make sure that you can get all those A's next time, and you don't have to worry about taking classes pass fail. Fair enough? I hope you guys have a great day. I gotta run, I gotta go. I guess I have to do with my kids. This, uh, what is this, the social distancing, quarantining, whatever you wanna call it. I got home responsibilities right now. Uh, Trackboy says I got a 97% overall grade for my Gen Chem class yesterday. The 21 di uh, day mindset makeover helped so much. Awesome, I love to see that. Thank you, Trackboy, for sharing that. Um, so the 21 day mindset course is awesome too. Um, you can get that also, it's included in TST. 21 day mindset, you get my How to Study Fifty course, you get my Five Pillars course, you get my MCAT course, and you get coaching. For me, my coaching is on a whole nother level, baby. <laughs> All right, guys. You guys have a wonderful evening. I will see you later. If you guys have any questions, put it in the box below and I can address them. Because I know stuff is happening kind of rapidly. Someone just asked about any updates for MCAT. Put your questions in the box and I'll make sure I can do videos on them so all of you guys can uh, get help, get support. Yep, yep. Everyone have a wonderful evening. No excuses, just dominate. Later, guys. Today is the day guys, no more excuses, no more complaining, you're going to take your future in your own hands, you're going to dominate, you're going to be successful. Get to my website, studenttransformation.com, I challenge you, what are you going to do today to make your life better?